My Gavanan Melonine, and well met indeed. I'm Araki Galadurthan, and welcome back to Middle Earth as we continue on as canned Arachir Galadurthan. We are going to hopefully today finally shut down Dorwinian. But before that, I suggested in the yesterday's episode, or whenever it was, the last one before this, that killing Vine Regent Thane, the faction leader, will end the line for Darwinian, but as one of you pointed out in the comments, it is likely that actually the gentleman on the bur is probably their actual heir. Thus, they cannot be killed by regicide, so we shouldn't try it, yes, basically. So I don't think we will. Um, I Part of me, for the sheer sake of the difficulty curve that it will bring, sure. thinks, screw it, let's just get their last stand out here and let's meet it on the field and show it some good old-fashioned candish justice. But I'm also concerned that we have so few troops at the moment that it'll sweep through Dorwinian and reclaim all of these lands and it'll be an army we just can't beat. So I don't really know what I'm going to do, but we can't have Dorwinian just continuously assaulting us. I don't think Rune's going to take Austin a route, so I'm not really sure what to do on that front. But at the moment we're at an end turn, so we know that for the bare minimum we can do that. Let me first start properly by saying thank you to each and every one of you who commented an absolute plethora, a myriad ideas for what to do in law videos moving forward. There are so many good ideas out there that don't stray into the realms of making things up. Well, not making things up, but suggesting how something might happen. There are only one or two of those and they were caveated with good thought out reasons as to why they might work. Oh, there's the faction here, Vine Lord Edwardin. Edwardin has a very useful bodyguard of Vintner Court Paladins, and he was probably actually going to make this battle quite difficult. But we'll try and give it a go anyway. We shall all find um, a way to thank you to you all. Now, I now have a load of lore ideas. If I try and stick to one a month, or even just one whenever they're ready, but realistically it'll be one a month, then I've already got more than enough ideas to get me all the way through this next year and beyond. Uh, and so I'm grateful to you all for that. Um, some really good ones out there. Something which did make me chuckle a little is the number of you that suggested lore videos that I've already done. And uh, that did make me laugh a little bit. Um, because, of course, I've already done them. And I appreciate that I'd suggested I'm going to redo some. So maybe some of you did mean it from the point of view of redo these or that lore video. But I would have thought you probably would have mentioned specifically redo the XYZ video. But no, a number of you did just say ideas of things that are already in the lore videos. So I would encourage you to go and have a look at the lore videos if you haven't already. And <laughs> so you might find there's a number of videos there that you're quite interested in. Uh, but as a bare minimum, just as I've already said, I will, the first law video you're going to get is Sauron, and then I am going to redo the Servants of the Enemy and the Dwarf videos. But that's that's probably where the redoing will stop. The Nirnaith Arnoidiad is certainly going to be a video, um, and the overwhelming opinion from the comments, not overwhelming, but the, the mode comment was do topics that are that will cover the period of time that the show is going to cover so that this rebirth of law videos on my channel will at least give a fair and solid grounding to what you might expect to see in the coming show and i think that is of course sound reasoning and absolutely i will do that so you can look forward to things like more in-depth details of numenor uh, basically a, a, a year's worth of content related to pretty much the second age I want to cap off the old lore videos, if you will, with the Battle of the Nirnaith because I've talked about that battle so much that it, I, it, my head just went straight to, you need to do a Battle of the Arnoidiad. Um, so that's the starting plan. But anyway, thank you to you all for your comments. Thank you to all of those of you as well who were really keen for the idea of Warhammer 3 videos. I was pleased to see that. Very pleased to see that um, because I'm really excited for it. So that should be good. But for now, that's all I shall say on in today's episode about the coming plan for the series. I mean, we might touch upon it here or there if something pops into my head later, but that was all I had Only planned to say. The enemy force remains. We must pray they lose their will to fight. I don't actually think that we can win this. I think it's probably going to be within our interests to run away whilst we can... Um, where are you going to run to if I make you run away? Way that way. Yeah, I think we should start running. Um, we've killed some of these with arrow fire. That will work nicely. But we don't have enough arrows to really give problems to the enemy. And the uh, Vintner Court Paladins 
are no real match for uh, for us. Uh, or the other way around. We're no match for them. A 14 attack and a 23 defense. Nine charge bonus. They get a bonus against mounts. The wind riders might be able to deal with them, but they'd need to outnumber them, I think. Uh, no, I'm just going to pull back. So at least that solves our Darwinian problem for a time. Interestingly, though, the AI didn't think that they could beat me. Because they only rose out of the city, sallied out of the city, with the coming of the supporting forces. Our accursed enemy rejoices amongst the blood of our foes. The blood of our foes. It'll be all right, narrator man. It'll be more than all right. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. I'm sure things will be fine. I tell you what really spurned on the desire to then suddenly redo lore videos was, in many ways, doing the two narrations that I've done so far for Invicta. Because I was reading through Invicta's scripts, I have failed you and there's a little bit in the back of your head that just says, Gallo, why are you reading narration for another person's channel when this is very much covering exactly what would be on your own channel? Why don't you just do it for yourself. But also reading through the scripts, it did spark like a little thing in my head, like, oh, I, I would have worded it like that. I would have worded it like this. And thinking like, oh, yeah, no, I, that would make for an interesting video. And it just sort of kicked that back in. But no, primarily, I want to add some diversity into the channel because there's been a serious lack of it of late. And the lack of diversity spawns yes, apathy and lethargy and all the other edges. Right. Yes. right, I think what we need to do is plan that Darwinian's last stand is going to be something we actually have to fight. In almost every other playthrough of any game I've ever played, we usually ignore the last stand army by regiciding them, capturing all of their last towns in one go, just sneaky, sneaky things along those kinds of lines. And this time, though, I think we're actually going to have to face it and meet it. So, what I would like to do, I note that Zanrisa has just completed its building. Uh, Zan and Noose has just started its master base. So this is where I want all of my units to come from. But you're 33%. Risa. Oh, you're 57. I think for now, yeah, you're going to get me that. So if you build me that place, you could go for the master masons as well. I'd like Zirisa and Zan and Oost to get the highest tier of masons buildings, as I've already mentioned. Um, and they can go from. Yes, they can be our master. primary money for. Locations. Um, yeah, I really don't know what's going to be the best course of action here. If we try and get another ceasefire, we this had best be worth our time. I destroyed all the buildings in Ajara, didn't I? I'm, I'm, to be honest, I am happy to buy myself a bit of time by ceasefiring with them and hoping they won't go to war with us again. I must say. Oh, come on, that was generous. How can you hate me this much? And how can you be so absolutely blinded to the truth of the fact that you are dead? What are you fighting on for? And we didn't destroy all the buildings here, I just realised. We've actually been slowly building it back up. So what the hell? Yeah, build your Master Masons. 5,000 gold coins, I think that's not bad, is it? So we can't really abandon Ijara is the only thing I'm thinking. So if yes, these cavalry units were now, then just going to Sujist. You can merge. I shouldn't have merged them. That was a silly idea, Gallic. Why did you do that? Any mercenaries available here? 900 of those. No, not really. And what I will do is Karnakish will curl back around. Not too bothered about all the towers all over. But yeah, let's prepare for the fact that Dorwinian is already coming for us. Yay, brilliant. Oh, that's runic lands. Ugh. Idiot. <laughs> Alright, so Sujis needs a biggest garrison because I think that's where they'll go for that or Ijara. If they come to Ijara, we just, just we just scorch and burn and we run away and we let them have it. So be it. That's the least of our concerns. Yeah. I think we've got ourselves a little plan there. My ears are yours. Oh my good golly gosh. Dale, how many troops do you need? Ah, oh, those are cool UI icons, aren't they? Northman archers. That should be E, really. Northman is the singular. Northmen is the plural. Like rivermen <laughs> displayed right there. Dalian Billman, the Dalian Billman, remember them being added. And Ravanian Gdrots. The unit I like the most is the Iwothiadar, because they have a unique voice line recorded by someone in the Third Age team from all those years ago. And he has such a gruff and grumbly voice, and I really like it. Iwothiadar. 
But we're not going to get any of them, I'm afraid, because they're unique to Dale. And we're not playing as Dale. We are Dale's Deliverance. The banner of the Son of Cand will fly across the great plains of Ravanian once again. The last time anything approaching Cand came into the world of Middle-earth, into the western lands, is the arrival of the Wayne Riders, which I think is the last major assault on Gondor before Sauron becomes a problem again in the Third Age. Uh, and the Wayne Riders came from the eastern, far eastern flung lands of Rune. Oh, I'm good about besieged. Aha! The Ardenheim Armada moves. How may I order? Uh, the Wayne Riders swept right. through Rovanian. They I cleared start? pretty much right. most, if not all of it. But then I don't think they did. I think they focused mostly on the southern realm, southern bounds, and skirted around the Ethel Duath. No, other ones. Ered Lithui, the mountains on the, that mark Mordor's northern border. Um, did I just add something without thinking about anything else? No, uh, surely not. Oh, you can get a guild house. Yes, please, capital. Nice. And everything's going to be cheap, 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 cheap. So they came from far eastern lands of Rune, swept their way through... Oh, no, let's chuck in a road. Swept their way through Rovanian. Oh, how can you hate me that much already? What is your problem? Why do you hate yes, my... <laughs> All right, get them over to Suji's. That general will have to do on his own. Yes, noble master. And then they came upon Gondor, where eventually, after a number of successful battles, they were defeated and they were sent packing back to the east with their tails between their legs. At once. And then Can didn't really feature again. Can doesn't really feature in the histories in anywhere really, other than the mention of them at the Battle of the Pelennor Fields. Warriors of Can, Variags, and then everyone loves to spout their theory that Variags should be more Viking themed because Variag is very clearly a play on the word Varangian or Varangian who were the famous Norse bodyguards of the Byzantine Empire. Uh, the Varangian Guard is how I've always thought it was pronounced, but it may be pronounced differently, I don't know, not a historian. Um, and so people think that because in the real world, Variag is apparently, according to some comments that I've read on my own channel, Variag is a, another word for Varangian. Therefore, it is evident and plainly obvious yes, that the men of Cairn should be r based on Viking nomads. Not really Viking nomads, but Viking mercenaries who've made their way over to Cairn. And there's no suggestion that they should have this sort of Mongolian theme. Um, but the problem with that is you have to sometimes when given a number of options that are all open to you. So where your hand is forced, like Gondor, Gondor's culture could only be like Gondor's culture. We've seen enough of Gondor. Gondor get a lot of description in the books about what they look like. We know how Gondor should be depicted. And of course, the films present Gondor in such a way that if you want your game to do well, you would copy the films because the films are a cultural phenomenon. But somewhere like Cand, where you could go with the option of them being like Variags, or in this case, looking like Northmen, or you could go down the completely unused route of having a sort of Mongolian or steppe themed peoples, which Rune doesn't quite have because, again, Rune has the visuals from the movies to base on. And Harad doesn't have because Harad is very clearly, again, described as um, desert nomads with oliphants. There's a real suggestion that they are like Arabian peoples or Berbers or North African, like that kind of strip across the Mediterranean. So your hand is forced. So can you give the option? You have more option than, than um, you have with the others. You could do what you want. There's creative license available to you. So if you make them Northmen, then you've got Dale, you've got Dorwinian, you've got Bree, you've got Angmar, all having a Northman theme to them. Do you then want another Northman themed nation? No, is the answer to that question. And that's why they're Mongolian themed. It's all about variety when given options. Right, what should we do with Ansicia? You are now going to become the front line. So I think, first of all, if you try and get a militia garrison up and running, because the garrison troop that we get from the garrisons is the Haradrim one, and it's very good against cavalry. Uh, and Ijara, we are going to destroy all of you for the money elsewhere. Thank you very much. And raise that tax rate. Through the roof. Sorry, 21 Barun Raiders, you are going to die. If you find some way to get out of the city, then please, by all means, do so. Because your lives... An honor to Noble one. You're being abandoned by How your people. I serve? We march. Oh, we march. Oh, we don't have a free upkeep in Zankija. Why is that? Because you don't have a meeting hall. 
Get me a meeting hall up, and then we get free upkeep. Then build your master masons. But I'll definitely keep those roads going. An honor to serve. At once. Setting a watch here. Setting Noble one. Noble one. At once. Setting a watch here. Orders. Nice. Building a little army. We'll get some trash coming from Zan Anust. I'm really loath to train marauders. I just don't think marauders are any good. Ah, you don't have a meeting on either, but we want that, don't we? Yeah. No, that's fine. Oh, hello. We are allies, no army. We are allies, but not yours to command. Where is the next town from Erland's Ferry? It's over here, isn't it? But that's claimed by Rune. Gazar Ibar. Where do we want our spy to go? I want to know where the fighting is with, on Rune's northern border, really. Oh, more Dalian, Dalian forces sitting around doing sod bloody all. Get out to the front lines, you lazy buggers. Right, we are going to build a little army, and someone's then going to go over and take Mornithel, probably a cavalry. That will drop them to three. Ah, oh, no, yes, of course, we can swap Ijara for Mornithel. Yes. yes. We'll link our son and our um, father-son duo back up together. Some glorious success in the forests. I think we can end the turn. Oh, I didn't move those two. Yeah, we'll link those two up. Send them over to Mornithel, take that, then we'll build up, 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 and then we'll take Dorwinian's last two land regions, and we'll leave them to Ross in the middle of the Sea of Rune. Where they can no longer harm anybody. Where the reach of Dorwinian is res restricted to a small, pitiful island in the backwater in the arse end of nowhere. Glory be to us. Uh, something that I know for absolutely certain now, and I can tell you categorically whether or not it's whether or not there'll be anything on that day it remains to be seen. But to get to the point, the embargo for me as a second tier um, creative assembly partner and content creator, the embargo for me is the 10th of February, which I believe is one week before Warhammer 3 comes out. So on the 10th of February is when potentially you will see the first of yes, the videos Google, that I Google have created. Yes, so hopefully that will keep you satiated, which gives me yes. one week to Setting produce the content uh, in time for you to all watch Setting it. A watch here. Oh, that army is so bad, they don't even think they can take it. That's ridiculous. Um, let's leave behind... Oh, I'd be tempted to leave behind the Orders. privateer cab. Actually. No, you, you hate me. How much so? Rebellion enough? Oh, that is some steep cultural unrest. Um, Zananoost, actually, can I take your Order. tribesmen? We might. How may I yeah. serve? As you will. An honor to yes, noble master. An you guys link up with that. We move. Oh, you're a turn away. You're How a turn away. Serve? And then we've got two good cavalry units that we left over there. Well, marauders, are, they're not a good cavalry unit, but we've got two cavalry units. <laughs> I don't know what was what's just built then, because oh, there you go. Kitaj got the guild house going. Good, 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 good. That meeting hall will finish next turn as well, which is nice. And you're training those two. Oh, fantastic. We'll get them out to the front as well, yeah. We'll meet up in the forest. Just have to hope that Sujis doesn't rebel before uh, Captain Borlak gets over there. Bum, 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 bum. Um, there will be a live stream on Saturday. I'm pending my being lively and jovial in the morning. Unless some major life event kicks in and stops me from doing it, or just some minor event that causes me to just feel eh. But at the moment, no plans to have any of those feelings. So Saturday should be good for a live stream for the other Candish episode, the third of this week. So you will get that. And then, as I said in yesterday's episode, if you may or may not have caught it at the point, and you chance you might catch it now with me saying it twice, Battle of Middle Earth is likely to continue the week after the 14th of February because I'm off work for that week and I can just bulk record those and get them finished and get them done. And don't know at the moment when the first new law video will come out yes. because I haven't written it. I've only, this is all just very much um, discussing these things at the moment in my mind and planning out how I'm going to do them. So it will be a little bit of time. Ah, rioting, but not... Ah, still, yeah, no, perfect. They still haven't abandoned us. Zan, let's not build anything there so Zancisha yes, can get us. How long have you got? Bring Two turns. How far away? Are you? Yeah, At once. Yes. Zan and Oost. We move. We rest here until dawn. As you will. You guys come and get involved. The sun sets on today's journey. The sun sets on today's journey. I'm tempted Order. to just uh, disband them. In fact, I am. Now, we want to keep the nomads, but marauders are a dime a dozen. There's, the time it takes them to move east is not worth it. 
Whereas the nomads, we'll take the nomads, that's all right. You could do the chicken farming so that you grow quicker now that you've got everything. And in fact, as you, you're you like, or the other one, is it Arkishla? No, you upgraded recently, didn't you? Yes. I think we were just queuing up every building you could build. Oh, is Anna New still not building anything? But no, we want um, Zan Sisha to get its military garrison up in preparation for them to... Yeah, so just end the turn again. Oh, for goodness sake! One turn too soon. We've lost Sujist again. And then exterminating the population again. We're going to lose all of our buildings again. Ugh. What a pain in the neck. It was at 55% though. You all saw it. It was at 55%. And we've been working on the basis that 55% is too high for them to rebel. Apparently not. Damn nuisance. 12 citizens killed. Jesus. Yes, Alright, well we don't need both of you. And we're assaulting the city. So, oh rash. With your ridiculous Bring movement up, range. Goodness gracious. We march. We shall end this day in triumph. We shall end this yes, day in triumph. We cannot travel there. Ah, they're one tile away. How may I serve? Oh, Rash can't actually help. Those marauders looking real good right about now. Uh, Zadanust, you get a guild house, and Zish, you're gonna do the same. One will get one, and one will get the other. That's fine. And then. Orders. I'm honored to serve. How may I serve? Move into the fort. Oh, they stopped the siege. Uh, I need you to take that, though, guys. What's the free upkeep here? One. Yeah, we don't even have a meeting hall. Do we? Oh, no, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Meeting hall. Yay. It's two free upkeep. All right, I'll chuck in one of them. They are free, after all. You don't have out. It's coming along rather nicely, though. We're ticking up, aren't we? We're ticking up. Right, so Skarn is the sort of front line, but the dwarves have a very large garrison on that one. And then this is all one region, Kazari Bar. So that's sort of the front line, really. What about down here? Erebor pushing back? Holy hellfire, that is what... Of course! I forgot about him, didn't I? We saw him when we toggle-foggled war. He is the reason Dorwinian has not surrendered and will not cease fire with us. Because this army is so powerful... That it clearly shows they have a military advantage over us. We shall listen to your proposal, but do not expect much. No, we will not Good agree. day to you. They have none of it. Order. Yes, noble master. Yes, noble master. How may I serve? Ah, we'll siege him on the next turn then. We're going to get attacked by the rebels in Sujist, and we can't do anything about it. I just know it. They're going to rise up and hit that captain. We aren't going to be able to do absolutely anything. Um, something that many of you did comment on was that you are keen to see the faction lore videos continuing. So videos where I did the first half of the video is here is everything absolutely canon that we know about this faction. And then the second half is here is what we have added in Divide and Conquer to give them more fleshed out story so that they work in this greater Total War setting. Or here's not necessarily something that makes them work in the Total War setting, but here is something... Orders. That gives them more character, gives them more of a story, more of a purpose, makes them more of a people. Um, and many of you have said those videos will be good, or at least a number of you with a fair few likes have said, yeah, no, I like those videos, they should continue as well. Uh, but I am going to prioritise mainstream lore videos, if you will, over those types of videos. Um, and just sort of see how we, how it, how it all settles into place. Oh, hello! First editions, and now we can you can even get military lodgings, yes please. I'd love a, no, not a military garrison, I want a, there we are, warlords. All the positions moved around, I didn't know where to build and I needed walls anymore. That's not bloody helpful, is it? Can you go back and see Jijara, please, because, oh wow, the public order is so low. That place is going to rebel against us anyway. Um, who should we sell that to? Oh, we could just sell it to them actually, couldn't we? We doubt there's very much you could offer us. Well, how about I sell you your own region back? Why didn't I think of this before? Of course, this is the solution to all of our problems. We'll just sell them their region back. It's good to see. an honor and a pleasure. Order. There you go. 
There's your white elephant. Come and get me, you coward. You coward. And now, we are free to kill their faction leader. Go to the fort for now. Uh, Captain Argudun, you are probably going to die, I'm afraid. That Darwinian army will almost certainly attack you. Ah, oh, brown boat got roads. Nice. Well done. Everything should be building with that 6,000 gold coins we just got. Yes. Look at the empire. Look at the greens. How many greens do you see, my child? Greens abound. Greens abound. Uh, Arkishla, you don't need two troops there, though, do you? Head on down to Sujis and help with them. Similarly, Captain Abadan, get down there. How may I serve? Zanrisa, yes, please. Might as well take you my orders. I know they're rubbish, but can't hurt, can it? We've really carved out a little niche for ourselves as the new kingdom of Ravanian here, haven't we? Um, you definitely want your Inquisitor's Watch when we can get it, just so we can get those Temple Knights out. But we'll wait till the Guild's House is built, because it, the, the reduction in time particularly is quite helpful. And there's an extra 10% saving, which I shan't say no to. Oh, and look, Darwinian has a secondary army there. Unless they've just fought and a Sabian died and that's the remnants, that possibly could be true because Darwinian doesn't have any recruitment hubs over here. So how it's getting troops over here, I do not know. And some of the troops in that army of Asabian really makes me think that he was their last stand army and that they sent him, sailed him off east for whatever reason. I just can't imagine Darwinian being able to get an army of that strength in the time before we attacked them. I, I just can't see how they've done it. And particularly with the makeup of the units as well. I will only address you in battle. Oh, that's all just trash. Maybe Nabur is feeding this. Why are you focusing on Rune and not on me? What? Order. It just, just doesn't How make any serve? sense. Order. We march. How may I serve? This place is not reachable. As you will. Oh, Are no. There we go. Rest? Perfect. You all survived. Order. Dominion ran off. Maybe Ajara rebelled against them, or maybe the the uh, culture's so low they needed to do something to get people to like them again. What are we on there? Twenty percent. And what gives us our recruitment? Actually, is it our meeting hall? Yes, it is. Oh, and it only needs fifteen. Brilliant. They will become free upkeep when that building builds in a turn. Once you've built that, let's go for. Um, yeah, Dark Shrine can't hurt. And then I'd be tempted to just chuck in some Ecos. Oh, you definitely need that. I'm queuing up buildings. I know I shouldn't queue up buildings like this, but we're in a very good economic position now. You've moved on. Ah, yes. Oh, you can build roads. Oh, yes. So much money. We just don't even know what to do with it. I'm very interested with all of this, though. Oh dear. Please don't die. Please don't die. I thought I disabled these movies. Maybe they're separate type of movies. Oh no, he's put on a night outfit. <laughs> was that supposed to be humorous? Because it was to me. <laughs> well done, Margos. I thought I honestly thought I'd disable those videos, but that's not the first one we've seen, have we? Actually, we saw the one where he pretends to be a bush and tries to creep in towards a guard as as a bush, and the the guard very swiftly realizes that the bush is walking towards him, and so he thrusts his spear into the bush. <laughs> Get your minds out of the gutter, and uh, kills him inside. And sadly, we've seen that one. That was one of the best things about Shogun was the those little videos. But I think they only apply for the spies. Oh, and the assassins. But of course there are no assassins, so you don't see them for that. And I barely ever use spies, so that's probably why we never see them on the channel, actually. But that was pretty cool. <laughs> um, something I've seen again as well, I can address. Develop a diary for Dunland. Dunland moves ahead at a very rapid pace. And there, I think we are nearing a time that there will be a new developer diary on that. But I still just sadly cannot give you any semblance of an estimate. More construction completes. Arkishla. Grain exchange. Oh, port would be pretty handy, actually. I think we probably should do them one at a time because we've got the... Well, you. Well, there's no point with you, really. You've only got two buildings to build. It just doesn't matter, does it? Line them all up, what the hell. 
But like here, don't do not do all four of those. We will just do one at a time. And as they build, we'll replace them. Uh, Sujis is about to die off. Do we assault Mornithel? That's the question. Oh, I think he's had someone come of age. That's the only way they could get a garrison. Unless he got in there before we sieged it. Which could be... Which is plausible. That is plausible. Alright, otherwise then it's just a bit of empire management. Oh dear, Othala, they are having none of it. Let's see if we can find a Sabian. Now, I'm not interested in that. I want to know what happens with Othala. Does Darwinian go first or does Rune go first? Now, he can't leave that, can he? Because he's trapped within their zone of control. That is some excellent coordination on the AI's part. Can he leave? Ah, he's trying to. Desperately trying to run away. Ah, they're going to then make the error now, aren't they? They're going to have the fellow on the right attack. Uh, the one with his back to us. He's going to attack. Oh, no, they just decided to run away. Come on, Rune. You had more than enough troops to kill him. What is your issue? What is your problem? Why do you hate yourself so much? <laughs> if they weaken those armies oh they did rise up oh brilliant so we do get a battle did we already play a battle oh at the beginning yeah. they've just got crappy Rovanian trash more to kill oh look there's Sauron speak of the devil on the slopes of Orod Ruin it's not Orod Ruin it's an E sound on the I and UI is not a diphthong which means it is not a single sound. You see this in the River Anduin. It's not the River Anduin. It's the River Anduin. And we don't have any... Oh, that's such a shame. This is melee cavalry only today. Well, oh, that's a bugger. All right, go over there then. And you two are going to just run into the... No, that's just going to send you in. Go to your deaths, friends. Sorry, chaps. That's all you're good for now, really. Well done. Light cavalry. Curse the sun that shines on our disgrace. We must turn the wind of battle, or we will taste ashes instead of victory. Right, the nomads have charged in. Step, tribesmen. Throw javelins if you are unaware. I don't know if you've not, how long you've been around the Dax scene, but you so you may or may not know, but they're javelin throwers. They only get three. So they don't do too much, but they do get them at least. Well, that was a good Enemy charge. are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Half their men. In you go, guys. He'll help. The battle appears to be running in our favour. From good tidings such as these, does victory spring forth? We have cut off the serpent's head. Enemy general yeah, is they run like children. Why are we continuing those? Siege, you moron. 121 died. 86 well step deserved. tribesmen. It cannot be said otherwise. Step tribesmen, if you are unfamiliar with them, are really one of the worst human units the game has. Yeah, their stats are so, so low, and they don't have anything about them that really sets them out. They are such a defining feature of Khan's early roster in how absolutely awful they are. That, of course, is a backdrop of the two trees, Laurelin and Telperion. Which was also suggested as a video topic, actually, because the trees appear in the promotional artwork, don't they? That we've seen. Oh, we just downgraded our, our Mason's building. <laughs> the only so far promotional image we have seen of the works of the film show the trees and, and what I assume is Galadriel standing in front of them. Right, my plan is to take all of those away. How much are you going to hate me when the fear goes? Oh, fear's only at 10%, actually. Ah, no, I think we're all right, because there's now so few people here, they can't hate us any more than they already do. And all we lost was the Master Mason Tool, which we've already queued up. So that's a bit of a net gain, really, actually, isn't it? How may I serve? How may I serve? I'm honored to serve. Now we can take Mornithel without fear, that's good. So just sort of hover around At here once. for a moment and see what Captain Thorburn's gonna do. Thorburn, what a good name. How may I serve? <laughs> we march. Send in Colonel Thorburn. Colonel Thorburn reporting here. Is that what you want? Bugger off, Dolgador. We've got an alliance. You ain't doing nothing, sunshine. Zansisha is the only place to have built a thing. You could do with a port, actually. That's right up your street. 
Because you're on the sea. Let's cash in on the trade. Get that up to a shipwright. What is the bonus to us if we build a shipwright? So at the moment, buildings income's 40, trade 690. Trade would go up 734. Admin would go up by... F <laughs> by four. <laughs> trade would barely rise. But we would get more growth from the um, shipwright. So actually, you are not worth your 4,880 gold coin cost not by a long shot let's make you more militaristic than you are a castle so we'll start with a leather worker then we'll chuck in nomadic gathering grounds and ah no you should probably start with warlords hall for the free recruitment and better recruitment and better upkeep it's so alien to me to not queue up buildings after i've just built a queue to building that's just not something i'm used to every fiber of my being my eyes are yours. wants to click another that's building after the one i just lined up Oh, you've got eight turns on you. That's pretty good. That's probably where Thorben's going. Orders. He's heading off into the darkness, into the wilderness beyond. How may I serve? As you will. Yeah, roads would be a good one all around the world, actually. Yeah, if you can go for roads when you book your manager lodgings. Kitaj, you are on roads. Fantastic. Sujist, you're going to get roads when your Mason's Hall builds. Zananust, you've already got the highest tier best we can do it's kaya uh, kitaj that we want and that's already building so that's all right all right all right so we'll give it one more end turn and then we shall save the video there and call it a day and you are then bereft of a video i may possibly depending on if i am playing a game with a uni friend of mine tomorrow evening i may possibly be able to actually do a battle of middle earth this week um, but I don't know as yet. But I'm not overly bothered if I don't because now I've got the plan. So Warhammer can kick off for your visual entertainment as of next week, the 17th, as I say. So look out for the 17th. No, the 10th, the 10th, the 10th, the 10th. The Thursday the 10th is the first day I can drop a video, I think. So look out for that. And um, the law video, yeah, I, I've taken, I've gathered together all of my numerous books it is a number of materials that I researched it all from. I've gathered them all together and I'm taking them to work tomorrow. But I'm busy tomorrow and Thursday. Very busy. Won't be able to do anything at all. As in busy so much to the point that I won't have a lunch break. Because that's when I'm going to be doing this law, writing all of these in my lunch breaks again. Oh, hello. Nomad warriors. We finally get some ground troops. And you were able to build roads. That's not bad at all, is it? Two Barun raiders. You could get an army out of what you've got. Yes. That's fantastic. Welcome, welcome. Our oh, Kishla got a grain exchange. And then we don't have any money. Um, the roads are probably the best, but the most expensive. But roads just ideally in all the heartlands would be fantastic. Why can I keep retraining you? That's of no use to me. You go for a market. And Zana Nust. I'd love you to get... You don't even have a nomadic gathering grounds. Yeah, you're going ham on military if you would. Make about 4,840. We'll get more when we get more, Nathel. Free upkeep is a key feature, though. That's what we'd need across the board, really. How was the culture here? Oh, yeah, if you had a meeting hall, you would get it. So I think meeting hall, then roads for Suji. So I'm going to forget that by the live stream, almost Orders. certainly. Um, let's take the 91 of you Come over there so you can march. retrain and defend there with the free upkeep the there. Free, 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 free. You need a meeting hall next so that you can be free. That's why I am going to queue them up so that I remember. Um, I don't mind that the meeting hall won't get the benefit of that. That's all right. It's only the next building that doesn't get the benefit of the built Mason's Hall. Orders. We move. Noble one. A noble one. Oh, get rid of them then. They're not doing anything, are they? They're not bloody well doing anything. And nothing's happened over here. They meet there and Dale just sits and waits for them. And speaking of sitting and waiting, that's what we are going to now do. So thank you very much for tuning in and watching along for today's episode. And thank you all again for all of the ideas, comments and feedback and thoughts about the law videos and the general direction of the channel. I welcome, I'm grateful to you all. So thank you very much indeed. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, despite it being a little slower. And I hope you'll stick around for the live stream on Saturday. But until then, Navair Naden Pedimat Melunin. And farewell.